Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hey, are you ready to get into the word of God? I am. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's old brother Scooter starting out, starting out the song. Uh, and we want you to stay tuned to the end. I'm going to uh, finish finish up the song, Nobody But You, Lord. Amen, amen. Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome again to another edition of Rightly Dividing the Word of Truth with me, Elder Robert L. Bradley. Edition number 21. Hallelujah. And I, I want to thank everyone that, that tuned in and, and that, uh, you know, that has subscribed, that has shared, and that even like the video make sure you like the video click the like it don't take much to just go over and click the little like button uh on the videos hey man show that you like the word of god and you're so glad that this word of god is getting out to a fast dying world and that's that's our purpose you know and, and we said each and every time on rightly dividing the word of truth is that we want to get the word of god out that you can take God's word within you and that you can receive salvation. Why? Because we want you to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord and rejoice. Hallelujah. We're going to say that each and every time on uh, Rightly Dividing the Word of Truth because we want you to hear, well done thy good and faithful servant amen amen now this is a fantastic lesson we're getting in today because right now you know that the olympic games are going on and in the olympic games they have track and field where in which you know they race they run they race and, and you would think that uh oh there's something that may have started here recently no because when you look here at the scripture look at the scripture right here 1 Corinthians 9 and 24, what it says, it say, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain. So evidently, uh, hearing this, they had probably had games uh, even back then where in which they had races and people would run to receive a prize. You know, they have, uh, now they have a, uh, uh, gold, silver, and bronze, you know, but only, according to the seal scripture, only the one received the prize, you know, but the one thing that says right here, so run that ye may obtain, you know, that's what it's saying right here, run that ye may obtain, and look, look at the second verse, now I want you to pay very, I mean the next verse, excuse me, the 25th verse, Look at the 25th verse, 1 Corinthians 9, 21. And it reads, And every man that striveth for the mastery in the temperate in all things, now that they it to, let's take your time, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. 26, the next one. I therefore so run, not as uncertainty, so fight I, not at one that beateth the air. Now let's 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 talk about these uh, three verses right here. They said, you know, we are running to receive 
a prize. We are running to receive a prize. And it says, so run that you may obtain. Run that you can receive. Run, 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 run for the Lord. They, I know it's an old song, old song they used to sing at church. Run, don't look back. Hallelujah. Or they say, I'm running, trying to make a hundred because 99 uh, and a half won't do. They got songs talking about running. And, and the scripture encourages us to run. The scripture encourages us to run that we may obtain not an earthly prize. Because why? Look, look at what it says on the 25th verse. You know, here's the deal, as President Joe Biden can always say. You're not running to receive an earthly prize that's going to one day become corruptible. We are running to receive a heavenly prize, one that is incorruptible. Uh, just like this old body, this old body is going to going to one day become corrupt. It's going to uh, it's going to one day uh, deteriorate and go back to the earth. If you go back to uh, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth editions, uh, you know one and two, uh, you can you can see how we talked about that. But this old body. Is a corruptible body. We want to put on incorruptible, incorruption. Huh? This is a mortal body. We want to put on immortality. And that's why we are to run for salvation. Run for the Lord that we may obtain the prize of salvation. Huh? The prize of hearing, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Not a prize of, 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 of this old earth. Yes, I know in the Olympics right now, yes, we saying like, oh, you want, you're trying to get the gold medal. Some saying they're trying to get the silver medal. Some trying to get the bronze medal, you know. But we are trying to get the salvation medal. We are trying to get the, the heavenly medal. We are trying to get the eternity medal. That is why we are running. We are not running uh, to, to, to uh, you know, like I said, seek earthly praise. We're not running. When we do stuff for the Lord, when we do things, when we help our brothers and sisters, I, I mean, I got a testimony. I was, uh, uh, it was even uh, just Friday ago, uh, you know, I was, I was walking out the grocery store. I had just bought me a few groceries. I had brought me some meat and some chicken and everything. And it was a lady, you know, she was, she had, she was passing by and she, she greeted me, said, uh, excuse me, sir, you know, God bless you. She gave me, she gave me a holy greeting, you know, and I, I just, I'm not one to say what people, you know, that I, even though there's a lot of uh, phony folks out there, but I'm not one to say that people are not true or not honest, but she had like $3 in her hand. And she said, "Sir, I, I have my grandkids with me for the weekend, and and I uh, I, I really need some meat for them uh, uh, to, to to go with uh, everything I got, and I don't have but three dollars." So I told the lady, I said, "You know, you know what?" I said, "I just bought me some uh, chicken and, and a couple of couple of steaks. Um, hold on one minute." I said, "I'm going to give you this pack of chicken," and I went, you know. To my, to my truck and I put my grocery in and I took everything out and I put the pack of chicken in one one uh, bag and, and I took it back over to her and I also had bought some some cookies and, and I put the cookies in there with them for her. she had the kids in the back seat and I said here maybe they can enjoy them too and that lady now I, I'm I, like I say you know some people are sincere some people may not be but I feel she was sincere because she said here sir please take these to three dollars I know this costs more than the three dollars take these three I said no no I said you can take that three dollars and maybe you can buy something else for them but you know I, I'm not doing that for no earth I'm not run. I didn't run to do that for no earth of the praise because the Lord said when I was hungry you fed me you know and I'm doing it not for no earthly pat on the back. No, I'm not doing it for a, a, a gold medal. No, not me. I'm doing it so I can hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord and rejoice. 
Oh, well, well, I'm looking forward to seeing those those uh, golden streets and the, the 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 towers and the gates of Pearl. I'm I'm ooh, I, I'm I'm striving. I am striving in my life for the prize and uh, and Christ Jesus. That's what we're doing. That is what we are doing. Now let me tell you this about running. That's let me tell you this about running. Now read the next verse right here. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Now I'm going to I'm going to say something about this verse. I'm going to say it. You know, read it. I want you to read it right there. But usually when folks say this verse, when you hear people they constantly quote this verse, write wrote songs about it, sang songs about it, but we are to rightly divide the word of truth because we often hear people when they say this, what they say, the race is not given to the swift or the strong. And what they say is, what people say, now nah, I can't, I'm not going to say, I, it, I'm not exempt because I did, I used to say this as well before I read, read the scripture. It says the race is not given to the swift or strong, but they who endure to the end. It does not read like that as you can see for yourself, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to read it right here, how it, how it, what it actually reads. I'm going to read exactly what it reads. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. It, don't, it does not say, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but they that endure to the end. But it reads as follows. I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens to them all. Amen. So, so let's 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 quote that scripture right when when we read it. But you know, it says that 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 the race is not just given to the swift. It's not that first part. It's, it's not just given to the swift, but we are to run this race because when you get old, you, you when you get old, you can't run fast as you used to. Uh, God bless me in, in a, a month or so. I, I I'll be 68 years old. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God on high. And and I I don't I can't get out there and, and run and and rip and run I can't you know my grandkids are getting big I, uh, when I you know go see my little grandkids and and uh, they're getting so big now it's like ooh it's it's a struggle even to pick them up where which you know when they were lighter or when I was younger and more healthier and stronger I go and even uh, pick up the bigger ones and pick them up and and hug them but. You know, you try to pick them up now. You know, you know they're getting a little heavy. You know, uh, or either either like uh, my little grandbaby was was uh, playing with the ball with me, and, and I just like can't run and fast after the ball like I used to back in the days. Being 68 years old, glory to God, Amen. But yet still, when we get older, like the scripture says, you know, we get wiser. We do get wiser and we know how to pace ourselves. But yet still, we do not stop running. Because as the scripture read, we run that we may obtain the prize of salvation. That is why we are running. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. We are running to obtain the prize of salvation, not a corruptible crown, not a, a earthly gold medal, not an earthly silver medal, not an earthly brown medal, but no, we are running to receive an incorruptible crown. So therefore, run not as uncertainty, uncertainty so fight not that you beateth the air. You're not fighting to, you know, just, 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 just to be fighting. You're not swinging. You're not shadow boxing. No, just to be shadow boxing. We are running. We are fighting. We are climbing 
for a purpose and a reason to obtain an incorruptible prize of salvation. And I'm so glad that we can run for it. I'm so glad that that uh, we, we're going to run this race even until the end. Until, even, if, even when we get old, we may not run as fast, but yet still, we're not, we're not stopping the run because what it says in Ecclesiastes, it says not given to the swift. It's not given to the swift, no. But just as long as you're running, trying to make that, that, that goal, huh? Keep on, keep on running because how they say payday is going to come after a while? Just keep on running for the Lord. Keep on running for salvation. Keep on running to receive the crown of life. Oh, and when they put that starry crown on our head, that's going to pay for it all. That right there. And just, just, just to hear, well done. Oh, that's going to just pay. That's going to bring all the joy. That's going to bring all the happiness. That's going to know that this race was worth it because you don't want to hear depart from me. Your works are of iniquity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's not, I'm, I'm, I got a uh, verse of, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that, that's going to correlate to that. Look at, look at this verse right here. Look at this verse, Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You know, I always I usually bring this up in a, in a message. You know, what what did the Lord, what did the Messiah say to us? What did Yeshua say to us in His Word? He said, "Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, because my yoke is easy, and my burdens are light." So when we are running, when we run this race, we run it with patience. The race that is set before us knowing that even though uh we may have some difficult days ahead huh but if you just pace yourself and keep running you know i, I was looking at uh, uh one of the uh, uh races and and how they run and they, they they run through uh a different area they run through water they run through you know things that 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 is that brings obstacles on the course they got they have that race that that brings the obstacles and everything and but yet still that's the race that is laid before them we have a race that is laid before us and yes there are obstacles in our way yes there are obstacles and hurdles that we have to jump over there are some some little hills that 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 uh that is right there in in front of us but you know what if we just patiently paced ourselves knowing that god's yoke is easy and his burden is light we're going to continue and strive through every obstacle and everything that's out there that tries to so easily tangle us up or try to trip us down we are going to continue to run this race with patience because now here we go here we go look at look at matthew listen what listen what jesus said listen uh 10 to 22 10 to 22 i'm i'm i'm, I'm you know trying to blend all this together here 10 matthew 10 and 22 now, this is where the endurance to the end part comes in at. Why? You know, we're running the race that's set before us, and ye shall be hated of men 
for for the Lord's sake, for the Messiah's sake, for Christ's sake. You're gonna be hated because you know why? You're gonna be striving. And men are gonna get mad because they try to knock you down and you're not falling. They're gonna try to trip you up and you're not being tripped. They're gonna try to stray you off the path, but you are staying on the path that is before you. You are continuing to run that race that is laid before you. You're not being tricked. You're not being uh, maneuvered out the way. You're not uh, swaying from the path that is before you in this life. And we have different things and avenues that we have to take in our life. Long as we do it, and run this race patiently and stay the course. I tell you, like, like it said there uh, in in uh, First Corinthians uh, nine and twenty four, <laughs> we gonna receive that prize. And I say uh, First Corinthians nine twenty five, it's gonna be an incorruptible prize. But read right here, and ye shall be hated of all men for my sake. But he that endureth to the end, we shall be saved. We shall be saved. That is such a great thing, my brothers and sisters. That is such a great thing that we can run and don't look back and keep our head in front of us. I, 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 there, there's a scripture said that he that looketh back, you know, he's not fit for the kingdom. So we got to keep our eyes focused in front of us. Because when we ran past something, that is behind us now. The trouble that you have passed, it's behind you now. The heartaches that you have suffered and made it through, it's behind you now. Yes, you can use it as a testimony, but yet still, it's behind you now. Continue to run this race and run it patiently. Run it with strength. But don't stop running for the Lord. Because, my brothers and sisters, there is a crown of life at the end. And when you stand up there, you know how they, they, uh, they show the ceremonies of the... Uh, Olympic people where in which you know they stand on the podium and they put the gold on them but no we're going to be standing on the right hand side of God and he's going to say enter to the joy of the Lord and rejoice woo hallelujah we're going to go on there shouting let's all praise his name and saying hallelujah the unto the Lord and that's going to be such a great thing my brothers and sisters that's going to be such a great hallelujah thing and I just want to read these scriptures again. I, I just want to go through these scriptures again. And I want you to concentrate on them. Yes, read the whole scripture. Go back and read 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. And, and go and, you know, you can read Ecclesi Ecclesiastes, the, the ninth chapter. You can go and also read uh, Hebrews, the twelfth chapter. And also read Matthew, the tenth chapter. You can't go wrong in reading and studying the word of God. But the concentration, the scripture that we are concentrating on today is 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. 20, uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery and temperate in all things now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. That's what they get now. Those medals they get now, they're corruptible. Because why? One day they're going to all be corrupted. They're all going to be destroyed. They're all going to fade away with this old earth. But we, an incorruptible crown, uh, incorruptible crown, we're trying to get that crown of life, of eternity, of, of eternal, uh, of, of, of never to, 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 uh, suffer or die or just just eternity it's just it's just it's just so so greatly whoo exuberant to to explain you know you know just just to know that we're gonna be having eternal life an eternal crown of life amen 
And I therefore so run, number 26, 1 Corinthians 9, 26, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that's just out there just trying to shout about so just be no we ain't up here you know we, we we fight we fight not against flesh and blood but we fight against principalities you know and and, and things of wickedness you know so we we're not we're not here just just out here shadow boxing but we are fighting the spiritual battle now ecclesiastes 9 return Excuse me, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise nor yet rich, riches to men of understanding nor yet favors to men of skill but time and chance happens to them all. See, we just because you got money, just because you may be a doctor, professor, or one with great knowledge, it, it, when you when we get before the Lord, huh? All the ones, all the people who 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 who, who you may think is so great, you know, presidents and, and and everybody who who receive and hear the well done, they're gonna be standing there with you. Eh? They're not gonna be walking in front of you. Uh, the Lord's not gonna just give them special privilege to say, hey, 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 no, you was president. No, no. We all going to rejoice because we all going to be on that same level of salvation. They got to repent too. They got to turn from their wicked ways too. Huh? They got to be able to heal well done and, and pay for the deeds that's done in their bodies. Just because they have a title or whatever, that don't mean they're going to walk in front of you when you when we get to the to the to 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 the kingdom of God and hear well done. We all going to rejoice and go in together, praising God. They're not getting any special privileges. <laughs> Their star crown not going to be even uh, no less shinier than yours. Hallelujah. But we that runs to the end, hallelujah. We're going to hear well done, our good and faithful servant. Amen. Hebrews, Hebrews 12 and, and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, lay us, let us lay aside every weight and every sin which do so easily beset. Remember, God's yoke is easy and his burden is light. So, you know, the, 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 the little sin that, remember I told you how they, how they do the... Um, I forget what it's what it's called. The race way in which they they run through water and run and have to jump hurdles and everything uh, doing it. Just because those things come the, in in the race and the ground is not straight and and something that come and may try to beset them. No, 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 no. Lay aside that weight. Huh? I'm talking spiritual on that now. I'm talking spiritual. That spiritual thing that 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 that, that thing that comes and try to get you to turn away from 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 uh, salvation. You know that lying, that 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 adultery, that 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 uh, stealing, that killing, the the things, the coveting, the, anything that 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 God has, has has said for us in His Word for us to shun the very appearance of evil. We got to lay that aside and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And we got to, when you, when you, when you go unto the Lord and, and, and uh, when you repent unto the Lord and, and you give, Lord, give the Lord your life, you know, you have a, a, a road that's set. There's a road that is set that we are to run and to follow. That path is set that we're going to, walk and run that path as long as we stay on that guided path of salvation as long as we stay on that road of righteousness and we run that race on that road and don't try to turn off any avenue or or uh, terrace or whatever that road that try to get you to go and, and make things seem like something look good over there no stay the course 
with patience. And just and and and, and Jesus and, and the Messiah and the Lord uh, told us in his in his word, Yeshua said in his word in 10 and 22, when you stay and run that race, you know what? You're gonna be hated by all men. That's the wickedness. I'm the man that, that, that's mad because you know you're running a race and you're not being deterred. And 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 we doing it in the name of the Lord and Savior for his sake. But he that endure to the end, we shall be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I knew it was a kind of a lengthy message today, but it's just a good message. Uh and, and I just love the word of God. I I and I, I pray that you just enjoy this word as well. Hallelujah. So let us run this race. Let us pray. Most gracious eternal God, our Father. Let us continue to run this race with patience, Lord, of salvation. This road, Lord, that you have put us on, Lord, to receive our eternal uh, crown. To receive, Lord Jesus, our, our, our eternal home. One that's not going to be corruptible, Lord. One that is not going to be... Uh, mortal law, but it's going to be incorruptible, and Lord, it's going to be immortal, and we just, Lord Jesus, thank you for it, and we just praising you for it, even in advance, because Lord, we are going to run this race patiently, this race of salvation, this race to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant, so we can receive the prize of eternal life, God. And we just thank you for it. We glorify you, we praise you, and we're going to give you the glory and praise each and every day of our lives in Jesus' name. As always, Lord, we like to pray for the sick and afflicted. You know the ones, Lord, that, that are in touch with you, the ones that are having doctor's appointment, Lord, ones that have got to see, Lord Jesus, um, bone specialists, Lord, one, ones that are Lord Jesus, that's got to go through uh, heart doctors, ones that are uh, having to go through uh, even operations right now, Lord. Go into the hospitals, go into the sick room, go right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, to rehabilitation uh, places, Lord. Even go into the hospice center, Lord, and raise up somebody who, who uh, the doctors have said they only have days to live. Perform a miracle for them in the name of Jesus. Go behind jailhouse walls and Everywhere, God, and, and Lord, in the name of Jesus, save, heal, and deliver. In Jesus' name, we gracious and humbly pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, my brothers and sisters. So we pray again that you really enjoyed this message. I did. I really did. Hallelujah. And I just hope you got the understanding and, and the knowledge of this great word that we are to run this race, not to receive a earthly uh, medal not to receive our earthly prize but we run in this spiritual race that we can receive a crown of life eternal in the glory hallelujah 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 so until next week god bless you and may god keep you strengthened and may he continue to uh just just put that holy ghost shield around you in Jesus' name, we pray that you be blessed and see you next week on Rightly Dividing the Word of Truth with me, Elder Robert L. Bradley. Now, let's enjoy the rest of this song where I'm going to take over the song from Brother Scooter. <laughs>